am transferring this image of a beautiful wintry fawn girl onto this cotton rag watercolor paper. So today we're going to be using Fluid 100 cotton rag cold press watercolor paper. This is their 140 pound paper, but they also have a 300 pound. It has a very smooth surface. It's almost like a hot press. And the first, is this too big for this? No, it should be just right. Well, close. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're going to wanna cut this out. You're gonna wanna cover it with a very soft graphite. I have here, well, it doesn't say what hardness. Let me see. I like 6B or harder, so that's probably what this is. Anyway, you're gonna wanna use a very soft graphite, nothing 2H, nothing H like that. You want the Bs. So what I usually like to do is I usually like to use the chipboard backs of these. I don't wanna dirty that one up, so. I thought I had another that I had salvaged. It seems like, I don't know where it is. So I'll just use the large back on a fluid pad. And we're basically just gonna very simply cover the back in graphite. And this can be really messy. So what I usually will do is I'll cover it and then I'll go wash my hands. So just in case. This is the method we're gonna use. Okay, now that we have the back covered, I am going to grab my Fluid 100 paper carefully move a couple things out of the way. And then I want to use a low tack tape. So washi tape will work perfectly for this. So our next step is to tape down the illustration we want to transfer. And this was printed using my blue line technique. And that way, when I go over this with graphite, I can see what areas I've covered, what areas I haven't yet. And you wanna be careful, because the more you move, we'll see, but the more you move it around, the more you're gonna get just random graphite on the page. Now, if you plan on inking this, that's not even gonna be a problem, because you're gonna erase all that spare graphite anyway when you erase your pencils. Um, but if you want to have like a light style and you know, inking it can sometimes disrupt a light style like that, then you wanna be delicate when you're taping things down and also delicate when you're doing your graphite transfer. And graphite transfer is one of the simplest techniques short of flat out drawing on your paper. So we wanna have enough tape that it's not gonna wiggle around. And then you're gonna to wanna to use a pencil that is comfortable for you because we're gonna be using a lot of pressure. So I'm actually gonna use a softer lead and this pencil has a nice cushy grip And I'm just going to start penciling my image, pushing down with some force. I'm holding the paper down with my hand because it will slip and slide a little bit. And I'm gonna pencil the whole illustration like this. So I'll zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'll check in with you guys once I finish penciling this. So as I was penciling this, I came to the realization that I'm going to have to ink it. There's just too many small details and I've probably put too much stray graphite on the page to be able to get a nice clean erase. So we're gonna peel this off. I'm gonna show you what a graphite transfer looks like. 
And keep in mind, I would normally not like this much graphite on the page. There's a reason why I have to ink this. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot of like stray dirt on the page. However, that is not that big a deal. As you can see, we have our image transfer. Can't say it's nice and clean, but at least we've got our image. I'm gonna use a, um, like a cover sheet of paper and I'm gonna ink with a waterproof brush pen. This is the Sakura Pigma FB. You could also use the Sailor Rio Fuca. You could also use the Sailor Mitsuo Ida. There's lots of great waterproof pens on the market. This one is one of my favorites because it has a really fine brush tip. You can do really, really fine lines with it. And it's actually very easy to find since uh, Sakura of America has such a large presence here. So I'm gonna pull in, but I'm gonna do this in time-lapse. Okay, so this has been inked. I'm going to affix my graphite transfer to a sheet of scrap paper and that way it won't get all over everything because it really will get all over everything. I'm gonna let that dry for 24 hours and I'll see you guys later.